Welcome to Pet Allies Adoption Minute. I'm Jill Tinkle. I'm like, do we really have to do this right now? Because I'm a little busy. I mean, look at this dog I've got over here to pet. And he'd rather have me just keep petting instead of talking, oh, yeah. right? Yes. In fact, this guy might just roll over on his back and have me rub his tummy for he the rest of this time. He loves his belly rubs, he for does. sure. So tell us all about this guy. So this is Frost. He came in as a stray about a month and a half ago, but he had to be somebody's dog because he is just so sweet. He absolutely loves the snow, loves running I'm through sure. the snow. I'm sure. Yes. And he is just a lover, as you can see. Just we figure he's a great Pyrenees mix. Yeah. And definitely. Yep. And just absolutely beautiful and very, very good. So boy. how old do we think Frost is? They think he's about two and a half years old. So he's young enough to be extremely trainable for one yeah. thing. Um, and moldable, and he's extremely friendly. Yeah. He's been friendly to every single person here, but we don't have him on a leash right now. <laughs> yes. Because he just keeps going from person to person, yes. asking for belly rubs, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So we're kind of curious as to how he could be there so long. So you and yeah. I, uh, Nicole, I didn't introduce Nicole. Nicole's on the board for Pet Allies, and we love her, and also a sponsor from Realty Executives. Yes. So yep. love being a sponsor, that's the best part. Yes. So we have a lot in common. Yep. Um, we're both sponsors. We're both volunteers at Pet Allies, and yep. we both have a heart for these animals. Oh, absolutely. So you know we're just talking. Uh, you see anything more? <laughs> Moving in on the cookies, are you, Frost? We were talking about the quality of the animals you can find oh, at gosh, Pet Allies. Yeah. So give, give me your thoughts on that. Yeah, sometimes we're just amazed at how good some of these dogs are. They, you know, we don't understand where they come from sometimes. They've obviously been trained or with somebody. Really, really a lot of great dogs there. It's just, there's so many homeless dogs on this mountain that sometimes it takes a little longer for him to get adopted. Yeah, and we can't believe he's still here. So I know. we're kind of hoping that by the time you see us, <laughs> that he's not still here. But look at this guy. I mean, yeah. you talk about a sweetie. I bet he's great with kids too. I would think so. Yeah, so we have no idea about cats or smaller things you know, or anything I, like that. But I think he's not the best with cats. Oh, I'm not I'm the best just... with cats either, Nicole, so <laughs> you got to give me a, a break on that. We'll give yeah. you a break, okay? I don't know that for sure, but... But we always yeah. have the sleepover option, right? Yes. So tell us about that. Yeah, so you can take him home and for a few days and have him see how he adjusts into the home and with the family and the different pets and, you know, and keep in mind, too, you know, when they when a dog leaves the shelter to go into a home, sometimes it takes a while for them oh, yes. to decompress. It's a stressful environment in there. It is. And so sometimes some dogs adjust very quickly. Some dogs, it may take a few weeks before they can just decompress. And then it could take a couple months for them to get used to the new home, what they're expected. You know, I think sometimes people give up fast because it's not an instant click right but sometimes they just need a little time just to figure out what's going on in the world exactly so here yeah. we are with a mostly pyrenees obviously and yeah. i'm sure a lot of people would just say that's pyrenees yeah we also have a adorable rambunctious uh bull terrier yeah pico. right now and pico and he's yeah. darling but he's he's got a lot of energy yeah. i want him in a house full of boys with a whole bunch of tennis balls is yes he loves to chase his little balls and he could do that for hours oh he could now if yes. people don't want to know what the bull terrier is that's the target dog right Hi, Frost. so with a cute little big nose and everything yeah. and they really are a great personality yeah. we just adopted out a doodle that i was in love with yes and there's been some really cute dogs in there so um don't think of adopting at pet allies or in their shelter is oh here's where all the problem dogs no come. no I think it was the problem people actually yes it is way more of a people problem because he's yeah. obviously not a problem dog and sometimes there are some that need a little training sure you know we have an awesome dog at the shelter I was gonna bring today to uh, Roger He's another one. He's just a great dog, but might need a little bit of time just to adjust to being in mm -hmm. a house and all of that. But there's a lot of really good dogs there. And there are. Definitely. And, and like we always say, you can always take that chance and do the sleeping sleepover, you yeah. know, and keep them because Pet Allies is not going to make you keep a dog that absolutely does not work with your family. They yeah. want it all to work out, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, Nicole, we just thank you so much for bringing Frost here today. He's been such a problem dog. Right? <laughs> and we appreciate everything you do for Pet Allies as well. Well, thank you. You too. And we thank you for being with us here today on Pet Allies Adoption Minute. If you would like more information about the shelter, its monthly events, or to schedule an adoption outside of regular hours, please visit www.petalliesaz.org or call the shelter at 928-537-8009.